I just haven't done any research. I don't know what you want me to say. There it is. Found it. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's nothing in the world of birding that gets people more excited than a rarity. A bird that pops up outside of its normal range that represents an anomaly and a chance to see something out of the ordinary. These birds can come from states away or even continents away. Occasionally though, one of these vagrants shows up with questionable origins. A species that shouldn't make its way quite this far from where it belongs on its own. This was the case with a common shell duck that was reported in Fond du Lac County. Common shell ducks are native to Asia, Europe, and Iceland. They occasionally make their way over to the United States, but in the last hundred years, there are no reports verified west of Pennsylvania. Additionally, July is not the time Eurasian ducks would be migrating. So how would one get so far off course? Advocates of this particular bird being a vagrant pointed to the duck's lack of bands and intact flight feathers as a sign that it was indeed wild. Others had the opposite opinion. With a debate raging in the birding community, Derek and I went to Lakeside Park in Fond du Lac to try and find this cool looking duck and decide for ourselves whether it was wild or domestic escapee. We arrived to beautiful conditions in the city on the shores of Lake Winnebago. After an initial look around at the lighthouse and surrounding docks, we saw mallards, but no shell duck. We're here in Fond du Lac looking for a common shell duck, which may be an escaped bird, uh, possible it's not, but a lot of people have been coming here and getting uh, pretty good looks at it. So we're going to check out this really interesting species if we can find it. We walked further into the harbor and right by the boulders on the edge of the water was our target bird. I just haven't done any research. I don't know what you want me to say. There it is. Found it. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no way that that's not an escaped bird without just sitting right there. There's just no way. I can probably film it with this camera, honestly. <laughs> Dare I say, it was right there. <laughs> it was right there. The common shell duck is a goose-like duck with a glossy black head, white underside, rusty accents, and a bright red bill. In their native range, common shell ducks, as their name suggests, are quite common and widespread. They nest in temperate climates and winter in the subtropics. Interestingly, this species lives in waterways in the open country and nests in rabbit burrows, holes in trees, and haystacks. Common shell ducks dabble as opposed to diving when feeding and are known to eat a variety of food items found in the water, including invertebrates, fish, and plant material. This one seemed very content to feed right near us and didn't seem in the slightest bit wary of our presence. The shell duck certainly didn't have any bands, and his flight feathers were not clipped, but the lack of caution around people was a big strike against the idea that this was a wild bird. Additionally, the fact that it was associating with a local population of mallards also seemed to point in the direction of a domesticated duck. Here is the common shell duck that we were able to find with a flock of mallards. Common shell ducks are species that are native to Europe and parts of Asia. They can be found in Ireland, England, and they can be found actually in very, very large flocks, sometimes numbering in the hundreds of thousands. It's a really striking looking bird, and they don't come to the United States very often. This bird does seem very tame compared to what you'd expect from a wild bird, but I'm really glad that we're able to see it. It's a very unique species that I've never seen before, so very cool to have it here. After getting up close and personal with the shell duck, we explored the marina. Several ringbill gulls were in the vicinity, and cliff swallows had made a home out of the underside of the lighthouse. We decided to make the climb to the top and take in the views. I stand. You see him? Yeah, he's the odd duck out. Back on the ground, we surveyed the harbor to see if there was anything we missed. We located a herring gull and a flyby Caspian tern. We also went back to visit the mallards and shell duck. 
Uh, it was awesome to come here and be able to see the common shell duck. Uh, this was something that wasn't really necessarily on my list of like possibilities to encounter, but a really beautiful one. It's still hanging out by the rocks. It really didn't seem afraid of us at all, uh, but a really unique experience. And the whole Lake Winnebago area is a really nice place to visit, so if you're ever in the area, I'd recommend you come check it out. Um, but definitely a cool find, and we've been uh, really enjoying the day here. Whether an escapee or a wild bird, it was still one that was worth taking the time to find. In regards to the question of this particular bird's origins, even though there's no way to prove that it was once a captive bird, the fact that it had no fear of people seemed to indicate that the bird did not come from the wild. It was also later discovered that there was a poultry cellar not too far away, one of the exotic birds they deal in, common shell ducks. With this added information, it seems safe to say that while anything is possible, this bird was most likely born and raised in the United States. Maybe someday we'll see the species in the wild, but until then we'll still remember this day fondly for the cool looking European bird that showed up in a pleasant lakeside park. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. What's it like up there? I'm only up four steps, but so far it's great. Yeah? Yeah. I, I blend in. Do you guys he sits like really flat in the water? Yeah. He looks so much more flat than every other duck. So there's a sign over the side that says docking by permission of harbor master only and there's just a herring gull on it. So he looks like he's the dock master.